Are you listening to Fanon on Radio Radio? And I brought some company with me today, Mirella Cruz, who has become a very uh, dear friend of mine since uh, the last couple of months, which is um, really nice actually to have someone to be, yeah, that understands and goes through the same things, difficult times that we are going through. So welcome. Thank you. Oh, it's on my phone. Is it on? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's on. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And um, yeah, I totally feel the same. I mean, um, definitely challenging uh, times lately. And I think we really found each other. Um, playing records, going to spa, <laughs> going on holiday to Bali. <laughs> no, that was a joke, actually. We didn't go on holiday. <laughs> We wish, but we made some nice photos at the... Uh, what was the name again of the... Of the, the Hortus. Uh, the Hortus. <laughs> yeah, the Hortus Botanicus in Amsterdam. Uh, it gave us a kind of a holiday feeling. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the show. And um, I think in the first hour we're gonna just play some records um, that, I don't know, we have a certain feeling about with or that comes with a special memory maybe mm-hmm. um, so should I, should I start uh, with the first one or do you want to yeah I think it's fine and uh, yeah I think I also brought many uh, um, like tracks that bring up some certain emotions and I think for the second hour we could play together a set because we were supposed to play in two weeks Strafwerk yes Strafwerk Oh my god, we were so excited about that one. Yeah, it was going to be our first back-to-back ever, I think, right? Um, Yeah, and we we were really um, excited, of course, also because it would be um, our first gig since uh, since ages, you know, at at least for me. I mean, I didn't have any any gigs during uh, during the last 18 months, 16 months, I think. You you played abroad still, right? Yeah, I played. Yeah. But it was something we were really looking forward to. It was also a really nice techno stage, um, a stuff there. But yeah, bummer that the government is messing things up, fucking things up so much. But um, hey, at least we still got music and um, yeah, let's definitely play some more techno-oriented stuff in the second half of the show. So one of my selections for uh, this first hour is a track that I it's really well, not funny actually, it's actually a bit sad in a way, like um, there were so many um, disappointments lately, you know, cancellations of gigs and then still we had some hope that maybe from the 14th, you know, um, yeah, festivals could, could, could continue and clubs could reopen and I didn't get too excited about it because we already had so many disappointments but still there's this little bit of hope you know that you're like maybe you know it it would be so amazing if we can play again and then uh, last Monday you know there was this um, press conference and they said like yeah you can do festivals in the Netherlands for 750 people which is crazy I mean um, that's not I mean the larger festivals cannot do that of course Um, so yeah more cancellation and then I I started listening to this mix of Donato Dossi that he made during lockdown for Labyrinth and there's this one track in the mix and um, it's from, uh, I forgot the name, oh, it's <laughs> I'm so bad with names, yeah, oh yeah, of course, Fernal Equinox, um, the real, get yeah, the real dream and um, when I, when I pu- put this track up or listened to the mix, I, I started crying again and I didn't expect it but there were still so many emotions that came with uh, cancellations again um, but it's also nice that, um, I mean, if you have emotions inside, it needs to get out so music is such a beautiful way to um, to, to work with emotions, you know, and just let it be there. And um, yeah, this is one of those tracks. So I would uh, I would love to play that. And uh, yeah, I I really found some comfort in it uh, during uh, another disappointment. <laughs> okay, so let's play then. Thank you. 
are really beautiful. Thank you for sharing this one. You're welcome. Okay, so my next track is um, um, from Ben, um, which, which is released on Rhythm Bureau. Which Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had to make a very difficult decision today um, uh, not to go to Kiev tomorrow. Um, we were going with the whole Isotope crew and so many other friends from everywhere, but I don't know. Because of Monday, because of the cancellations, I, I just find it really hard now to um, get into a party mood and also, um, yeah. I don't know. I find it very difficult actually to express what I'm feeling, but I wanted to share this track, which he made for Natura. Uh,
So that was um, the track. Um, Mirella, what are you going to play next? Oh, hi, Fanon. <laughs> <laughs> um, what am I going to play next? It's, uh, it's a track from uh, ERP, Convection. And um, when we were preparing for the show, we, we were thinking like, okay, what would be nice, you know, to play? Like maybe some tracks or records that we have fond memories of or special memories of. And, you know, lately I've been thinking a lot about uh, all those dance floor experiences, you know, um, in the past year, past years, over the past years, decades even, mm -hmm. almost two decades. Wow, getting old. Um, and yeah, one set that really uh, stuck with me is a set from uh, Confection ERP. It was e e I think he performed as ERP that night, or morning or afternoon. It was Breakfast Club at the Melkweg. And it was one, it was such a rare, special moment that um, sometimes, you know, when certain uh, DJs play or artists perform, like sometimes I have it when Jeff Mills plays, mm -hmm. you know, there's some, something's there, you cannot pinpoint, but it, something special is going on, right? Yeah. And that was happening that night. And I remember that the dance floor wasn't packed, but I don't know, there was such a special atmosphere that I never, ever experienced before. And I will never forget it. It was like almost like a tra transformational, transcendental experience. And I remember also Benny Rodriguez was there. He was also standing on the, every, it was really, everyone's dan dancing on his own or her own. And uh, it's just a set I will never forget. So this is a track from um, ERP. It's called A New Road. And someone, <laughs> yeah, someone gifted it to me a couple of years ago. And uh, I'm still very happy with it. And um, yeah, I think it's also, it's, it's a bit moody. What uh, a nice uh, electro track! So it's funny that you're um, that you're mentioning this track because this reminds me directly back to Natura to Kiev mm -hmm. because I don't know maybe two years ago after we w we went to the festival, um, me Ben and Valerio mm -hmm. uh, went to Closure and uh, Confection was playing there. And that was seriously one of my best memories no as way. well. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps <laughs> now. No. So um, <laughs> wow. I, I think that I'm really going to regret not going this weekend. But um, is Confection performing? Oh no, no, oh, no. okay. <laughs> but still, you know, <laughs> but still, yeah. it's a special festival. But right? it's nice, yeah, we so that we both have that memory yeah, in nice. a different place, though. Yeah. Okay, so I'm bring it on. Put it on.
Okay, so my next track um, is one that I prepared for, parad uh, for Paradigm. Um, so I was um, not only playing at Paradigm, but also designing my, f my first stage, uh, which was um, really exciting and um, I'm really proud of what we've uh, achieved, but unfortunately, um, yeah, we cannot uh, show it this year, but probably next year or at some time. But also, um, it was um, always one of my dreams to play during either sunset or sunrise. Well, sunrise is a little bit difficult in Holland. So this was a sun, uh, a set during sun, uh, a set during the uh, sun, <laughs> set during sunset. Sunset. <laughs> set sunset. Uh, it's literally a sunset. <laughs> sunset set. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and this was one of the tracks that I was planning to play. So hopefully um, next year then. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully next year. We were just I have a year to prepare we now. Have a year to prepare <laughs> now. Actually, you were just telling me, yeah, you know, remember, yeah, in Stoffwerk we would play in a tent. I was like, oh my god, we would have played in a tent. Amazing. You can you can see it, you know. But uh, yeah, we have a year to prepare now, so it better be good. <laughs> okay, what's up next? 
What's up next? So this is a track that I listen to when I come back home from a party. <laughs> um, laying on my carpet, turning on my speakers and um, my setup at home. And um, it's just one of the most beautiful tracks to me. It's from Boards of Canada. And um, I don't know, it just sounds so good. And uh, I love the vibe of it, the energy. Or energy is really, it's really uh, s slow track, more ambient. But um, I don't know, it's a special, I don't know, it's just it's one of these special tracks that I like to space out on, you know, like um, float away. Okay. Yeah.
Nice. Okay, since you're um, um, putting this track, I'm also going to play a track that I like to put on when I get home. Um, it's a track that um, I really, really love. I think I bought it at least four times to <laughs> give it, no, not for myself, of course, oh, but oh. <laughs> to give it as a present for um, others. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just a track that really cheers me up. It's been a while since I heard this track, so um, super nice. Are you gonna give it to me, Sharon Point? 
<laughs> well, now you are my friend. <laughs> oh, I would love to have it. <laughs> no, uh, it's a beautiful track. Uh, thanks for sharing with us. What's the name of the track? Okay, let me let me check. Check. I'm so bad with names. Me too. Okay, so it's um, whole. <laughs> You forgot your glasses? No kidding. <laughs> uh, all over. Yeah, it's 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 difficult because there's no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which one is the A or B? <laughs> Split infinity? <laughs> or is it? Or is it the hill razor? Not the hell razor, but the hill razor. I think that's a beautiful word. Hill razor, instead of hell razor. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of hell razor, but yeah. hill razor. The hardcore parties back in the days in the Netherlands. Those were wild. <laughs> I never been there. Have you? Have you? Did you ever go to a hardcore party? Um, no. Well, actually, yeah, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> like in spirit so what or so how does that mean? Work? No, it was, uh, I think I was a little bit too young, but um, I was dressed more like a chabber, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, same, yeah. It was more to provoke uh, yeah. than music-wise. Yeah, I don't think that the music ever um, really touched me in that <laughs> way. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was I went to multi-groove ones, which was uh, in the Hemkane. That was an interesting experience, but I remember just obs obs observing the whole uh, gathering and just with such a smile on my face because I could enjoy people having so much fun. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely also, I mean, there are some good hardcore tricks, but definitely not my kind of thing. Um, but yeah, thanks for sharing um, that record. So the next one is not a record I have any memories of. <laughs> I, I just bought it, actually or recently, a while ago. It was actually my first time since ages since I uh, went to Rush Hour again, record store in Amsterdam. And uh, it was so nice. I remember coming in and it was I felt so welcome, you know, and um, it was so nice to go through records again and also with the idea of having uh, going to play again soon, you know. And I ran into this record from Toulouse Low Tracks. It's actually a remix um <laughs> from Wolf Muller. Oh. The ink is really bad, but um, yeah, it's it's slow, but it's nice percussion-driven track, and um, yeah, I just have a nice memory of going to Russia or again <laughs> since ages. So uh, that's also something that we, of course, missed during lockdown um, shopping uh, in like actually a physical store. Um, so happy that these are open again. Um, yeah, let's have a listen. Okay. Thank you. 
when I hear this track, I really um, see a festival outdoor somewhere yeah. at the <laughs> beach. Or after hours. Or after hours. Okay, so um, my next track um, is a drum and bass track. Uh, it's funny actually because uh, Esther Duim was playing before me and... Hi Esther. Yeah, she, she invited me for a show and asked me to play something different. So I th uh, thought to experiment with drum and bass, Jungle. And then um, two weeks ago, Darko and Laura asked me to do the same experiment. To experiment. And I thought that would be nice to, uh, to play another set like that. And I had really nice comments. Um, and I wanted to play a track that is from Roger Gerrissen, actually, under a different um, name. Salva Massiva. <laughs> Sorry. Salva Massiva. I think he's one of the most, um, um, yeah, I think he's one of the best DJs and producers in, uh, in, the, in the Netherlands. And um, I also invited him to come over and play here next month at Radio Radio. So I thought it would be nice to, yeah, play this track. And I was looking for this one. I wanted to play this one in Nijmegen, but it was in a different, um, yeah, I put it in a different, um, Who's What's up? cover? Cover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I, I couldn't you. find it, but um, here it is.
face. So we were just deciding if we're still gonna play or <laughs> continue yeah. sharing so memories. What did, we, what did we just decide? Okay, oh. so we're gonna play, I think, um, just a couple, yeah. I need to play one more track and yeah. you too, two. Yeah, and then we're gonna play just a little bit shorter. We're gonna do a, a, a set. And um, by the way, thank you for uh, introducing me to this amazing track of Roger. I didn't know. Yeah. I know Roger is really talented, but I didn't know he produced this track. So um, thanks for sharing. And um, yeah, uh, the next one is, uh, it's a bit, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, it's um, beautiful, it's a bit, uh, it's fast, intense, um, it's something that I, if I'm, I mean, there's also lots of emotions like anger, you know, recently, and certain tracks really are perfect to put on, you know, when you're a bit like, ah, I don't know, I'm done with this whole fucked up situation, and it's from Crossing Avenue, and a funny story is that they, trying to make a bridge here, it's maybe a bit far, <laughs> but um, a bridge is a bridge, um, so they played at Parallel Festival once, <laughs> I think in 2019, I don't know. And we, I mean, we've known each other for years, yeah. but we never really connected. connected until 2017, September, where we were at uh, Parallel Festival at, in uh, like a uh, 100 or one and a half hour drive from uh, Barcelona to the north mm -hmm. uh, in the mountains. Amazing festival, one of my favorite festivals. And... Um, I don't know, was it the first <laughs> night or maybe the second night? I remember at a certain point that we drank all the Jägermeister <laughs> at the bar. We finished it. There was no Jägermeister anymore because it was so cold during the night. So we ha we needed to get drunk. And then on Sunday, we had a really fun day together. And we were. I remember this moment that we said to each other, why didn't we connect before? And I was like, because that would be the beginning of the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it actually <laughs> really is. <laughs> Every time she comes over, you know? No. No. We, we have, we, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's not We also bad. go to the spa. We also know. go to the spa. <laughs> but we have lots of fun. Let's keep it to that. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy that uh, that uh, moment happened. And um, that's, that's also the most beautiful thing about festivals and events, I think, and club nights, because during these nights, you connect or reconnect to so many people. Um, and that's something I miss so much, you know. So this is uh, dedicated to that mo those moments. <laughs>
oh my god, this track really, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, makes me want to dance. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm a super idiot to let go. One of the best parties ever in Kiev. But yeah, if it's too stressful, you know, you have to uh, choose yeah. you, you know, right? I mean, yeah, um, yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's done now. Yeah. Um, so I want to um, close off with um, a track that uh, Dozi played in the school. Um, yeah, I really, actually, I prefer, I think, clubs over festivals. I think it has something more you know, deep, dark, intimate. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I didn't know this track before. It's from Melatin uh, Man, which is Tomo Hesselink. Hesselink. Yeah. So beautiful. It is beautiful. I was there too. I remember that moment. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. And um, or remember the moment. It was an <laughs> intense night, but it was a, one of those uh, nights at the school that you will never forget. You Everyone know? was there. Everyone you know? was there. Everyone, like the friends, like Paul. Yeah, and every, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was so amazing. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this track is uh, one of the best.
Now I'm on car. 